Gaming Division. Hey there, welcome to Gaming Division. I'm Cameron Day. We're going to do a little bit of unboxing for Catan. I got a couple items in. Um, the first one is the Catan Scenarios Helpers of Catan cards. There's actually a little rule sheet you can see through there, and then the uh, helpers are actually on punch out. This is going to be super quick, and then we're going to get on to the uh, main course, if you will. Very careful when you're trying to open this. Uh, mine is shrink wrap, look like, and um, very concerned about. It. But there were holes in the front, so maybe that's the better way to do it. There we go. Make sure, put your knife away. Oh, it's always fun. Today it's Christmas. Okay, so now that you got the wrapping off, you get this little nice one sheet. Um, not only does it have the scenario rules for everything, it also has each of the characters uh, with an explanation or whatnot on the back um, of how to use their advantages. Um, the helpers themselves come on this card, which is really easy to punch out. Some of them were already punched out for me, it looks like. Um, so you just toss that sprue or do whatever you do with sprues. Um, there are two types of helpers. There are uh, ones with numbers. There's six of those, and uh, those go in one stack. And then there's another batch that are just available, um, such as Lynn. Uh, everyone starts in side A, um, and you can enlist their help uh, every turn, someone's help every turn. And then when you enlist their help, you have to flip over to side B, um, and after side B, you cannot enlist the same person anymore. You've got to get a new helper if you have any helper. Um, I've got to look at the rules a little bit closer for that, but it's all there is for that. Uh, let's get on to the meat and potatoes of it all. Catan, explorers and pirates. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people like Catan. It's a very famous award-winning game. Uh, they put out a couple different expansions. Um, I think City of Nights is pretty well received overall. Uh, but a lot of people I've met don't like seafarers as much. This seems to be kind of an expansion of seafarers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it now. I've got the 5-6 to player expansion as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open that now. And then we'll come back and we'll look at what the extra bits are if there's anything. So let's go ahead and get it open. That new box feel. <laughs> that was probably horrible. Um, okay, so we've got baggies of all the colors. With interesting pieces in it. We've got two spare baggies, which is interesting. Um, we've got this baggie full of what looks like people and fish. I'm guessing. Um, there are these five large baggies, which is typically what we would put like rules in. Um, I've seen in other games. Oh, wow. All this is shrink wrapped together. So give me a second to see what else is here. Um, so here's the rule book. Uh, if you've ever played Catan, the rule books are plentiful. But um, pretty straightforward. They're not. There's nothing really tricky or lengthy about it. Um, and there's an overview as well for the people who want the cliff notes. So we'll come back and probably read through some of that. But look at that. That look at that. That's that's nice. Look at all that. Oh man. All right. So I'm gonna get this back out. And I'm really concerned here. So I'm gonna try to stay parallel to the cardboard. Always be careful not to stab yourself or damage the product if possible in that order. Uh, so, this is a nice heavyweight plastic. This isn't even a like cheap shrimp wrap. Good for them. Alright, so we have some scenario cards and such. All those punch out. Um, we've got some cards with like building costs and whatnot. Um, and on the back side, there's overviews of turn. 
Um, wow. This looks like it's uh, event cards, like Best Virgin, Best Fisher, Greatest Pirate Storage, things like that. Um, these should look a little bit more familiar. We've got uh, ocean uh, sides and hexes and whatnot. Um, along with some money, it looks like, and some large chits. Oh, I'm sorry, there are chits on this side. On the opposite side, they are keeps or pirates layers, maybe. So we got more. This is really interesting. Uh, wow. Okay, lots, lots of ocean border building type things. And I'm not so much into that. I'd much rather have a modular board. Uh, that I can build on my own, because, and I'll let you know whenever I get around to how to play, but um, I'm used to playing quite a few uh, variants to Catan at this point, because um, to keep it lively for everybody, uh, you try to come up with new things. This is super interesting, these gold pieces and whatnot, so maybe they officially made the, the gold pieces one and threes. Um, and we have individual fishing tiles, it looks like. So on a, looks like yellow, but um, on the different numbers you can score fish, it looks like. We have, man, uh, tiles that look like it has uh, pirate effects built in somehow. And it looks like more lair slash hidey out things. And, uh, wow, that's going to be a bunch of fun to punch out. Um, before I go and check anything, let me, let's go and get the five and six player stuff out. See if there's anything special that brings. I don't think there is. Alright. Alright, so we got another large baggie, which I'm still kind of weird out by by what that is. Um, so we get the brown, we get the green, we get more people and two more fish. Um, nice little overview sheet, building costs, etc. Uh, more land tiles, it looks like, more ocean tiles, and more of these harshly static looking sea type things. Um, huh. So before I look at any of the rules and stuff, let's pull out some of these pieces and see what they are. We've got what looks like a uh, city with a dock on it. Maybe that's a port. Um, like a parent with a child. I don't, I don't know what that actually is. Um, maybe a parent looking for their child. Maybe they're pirates. Um, we've got this, I'm assuming it's a boat. It does not have sails, so maybe it's a rowboat. Then we have a big pirate ship, which is a pirate ship, I'm assuming. Um, and other than that, we just have some discs in here. I'm sure everyone knows what a disc is. Um, and there's like three of those. I really hope they're not action discs. Maybe they're just for claiming territory or something. Alright, so I'm going to take a minute and look at the rules and see if I can discern some of this and shorten it up for you real quick. I think maybe I didn't look at this close enough before I bought the game. Um, but this is very similar to Traders and Barbarians. Um, if you are familiar with that, whereas it's not necessarily like one pure expansion that you can play with the previous three sets, because uh, the base set, Cities and Knights and Seafarers, all go together pretty complementary. Um, there are aspects of Traders and Barbarians that you can combine with those and not really change the game, but add things to it, such as fish and gold using the river tiles, uh, in particular, along with the gold tiles. Um, 
but there are several things in Trader Barbarians that are just specific scenarios and missions that require special tiles that you can only use for those missions, along with special board game pieces that you can only use for those missions, and the rest of the time they just take up room in your box. Um, so this seems to be a little bit more of that. Uh, gone to epic proportions. Um, I did not expect the tiles to be fixed together. I expected to get a bunch more of C tiles. Um, and I expect, I did not expect them to be so bossy about these uh, green and orange tiles. Uh, because it works very similar to Discovery. Uh, a lot of times if you look at the example here, uh, you can see some green back tiles and some orange back tiles, the, the moon and sun tiles, if you will. Uh, and you go and you explore the seas with different mechanics uh, and, and, and find that. For, so if you looked, if you liked seafarers, this is more of that with special missions and everything, uh, very similar to how Traders and Barbarians did it. It's almost like a seafarers, Traders and Barbarians. Um, very similar to that. I'm going to have to go through here and kind of pick and choose the things I really like about it um, and see how I can incorporate that in my previous Catan games because this seems to be very much an entity of its own regard, which may be why they did such a big box for the expansion, whereas the other ones are half this size. Um, and I'm really kind of curious how it's overall received. Um, but... In the end, these are more tiles, um, so you could just use them anyways if you just want a bigger Catan map, because uh, that does change the game quite a bit if you uh, choose to do that. Um, so I'm looking forward to digging through this and figuring out what's what, and hopefully maybe getting a, a video out there about how, how we play with this. But uh, until then, or the next video, or we <laughs> run into each other. I'm Camerai, this has been an unboxing for Catan, uh, the helpers of Catan, and explorers and pirates, and that's game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels.